Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I just want to talk to you a little bit about your high school drug testing program and who's going to be tested or who's going to be in the pool. Obviously, the student athletes or the people that are in competitive co-curricular sports are going to be your main ideal um, population of students that are in there. But in addition to that, uh, the people that have parking passes at your school, if you choose to, can be in that group as well. Um, you know, essentially using it as a privilege that a student has from the school and you know you want to make sure that they're clean and they're on the right path to be able to use that privilege from your school. Um, in addition to that, some schools also have a group of students that come forward and get tested for themselves um, just because they want to you know they want to make their own group and you know show that they're clean and that's their choice. I don't know if you can really you know create that group yourself. You can maybe throw it out there, but I think it's something that the students have to want to do on their own. And you can't really force them to do it. Um, and then, you know, there's another group where you have maybe these the higher academic groups or like the National Honor Society or groups like that where, you know, they are in higher standing and they're already, you know, using that stuff on their college applications. Well, if they can add to it that, you know, they are drug free, that's just going to be one more thing that's going to look beneficial for them when they're trying to apply for these schools. Um, and then in terms of, you know, testing in the random pool, you know, some places are going to do it where they have all of the kids put together in one large group and other schools, you know, separate it up into, you know, the co-curricular student athletes in one group and the parking pass in another group. And then if they do, you know, if they're lucky enough to have those students that come forward and want to be tested themselves, then they get tested in a third group, um, you know, but it's really your choice if you want to lump them all into one or if you want to split them all up um, and then have separate consequences for positive tests in each group or if it's lumped into one and it's, you know, the consequences based on you know, what they're participating in with your school. So hopefully this is helpful and thanks.